Meanwhile, new details in the search for the missing teen from Plantation, who was last seen back in late December when his father kicked him out of the car during an argument. Police say Augie Jorgensen was taken into custody in Barrow Beach early yesterday morning, but then, in a strange twist of events, the teen escaped. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live with more on what happened. Ted. Yeah, Walter, as you can imagine, that is one very relieved father. His son has been missing for three months now. He was briefly detained in Vero Beach early Tuesday morning. But according to the father, that teenager is very wary of authorities because of growing up in the South Pacific. So he was able to escape and is once again on the run. There's positive news. Uh... Bruce Jorgensen breaks down into tears as he explains his 16-year-old son, Augie, has been seen alive and well. He was seen sleeping in a public bathroom at a Hampton Inn in Vero Beach early Tuesday morning. Here's a picture of him from that morning. The boy's been missing since December. They found him sleeping in a, in a men's bathroom on the uh, vanity uh, after unlocking the door early 5 o'clock in the morning, I believe it was. That was yesterday. Uh, Bruce said Augie took off quickly after he was found. He said Augie used a fake name and birthday, but someone from DCF eventually recognized him as the teen that was missing. By that time, he was already gone. When they stopped, he, he got out and ran. He, apparently, he said something to the effect of, you know, thank you very much, but I have to go. Bruce tells us the hotel clerk said the teen had been seen at several hotels around Vero Beach recently. He put me in touch with the, the desk clerk from a second Hampton Inn in which my son had apparently uh, spent the night um, on Saturday and Sunday nights. Bruce is grateful his son has been spotted but wants him home. It was reported that, uh, you know, he, he looks healthy. He's, he's uh, an intelligent, bright, polite boy and uh, he's very respectful and he's a very kind child. And that father obviously quite emotional and very relieved that his son is at least okay. What he's going to be doing now is he's going to be heading up to Vero Beach himself to try and find his son. He's also going to be handing out flyers. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.